Hello and good evening everybody. It's nice to see you. This is Esther. My name's Esther. <laughs> I always found it a bit weird always saying your name because you never kind of, you get called by it but you rarely say your own name. Does that make sense? Whoa, we've got some, got some adverts happening in the background. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, sorry about that. Got my other device ready so I can keep hold of your comments hopefully. Or play ball anyway so the plan tonight is we're going to box make do some boxing of the card variety and so i've already made up some notelets you can catch that video that i did last week live and today we're going to make a box this could and i say this and then it ends up in a longer video this could potentially be a very quick video now if it is quick which i i really do think it will be I want to see if I can come back into another separate video about trying to make another box which I've not made before <laughs> so that one might take a lot longer so that's the plan okay so I just give a chance for people to come rolling on in you gotta like wait for 10 seconds of the adverts to finish so I'm time filling <laughs> okay let's turn you around around and around Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Oh, come on. Now, I don't know why my lamp is suddenly in the way. I'm sure it wasn't before. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. Sorry, you had a free ride there. Okay, serious now. So, um, I made um, some notelets last week. I'm going to undo the bow for the hundredth time because I'm going to just show you what I've made. So, I think this was an extra one that I made. That should be at the back. So last week we did this one. So these are um, notelets that already got that lovely colour wash on them already. So I just built them up using the abstract ephemera pack, I think it's called, and added some simple stamping with the Rainbow of Happiness. Is that what it's called? Yep, Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. What else did I do? I did some gingham ribbon, which is now retired, but you usually have some retired stuff left in your stash. So I've incorporated the theme across my cards. I think this was, oh no, I did this one on the live. I did make a couple. I made this one off the live and that one that you saw there. Okay, so I've got a lovely set of six. And I've measured, and I'm hoping <laughs> my measurements are right. Otherwise, we'll just go all wrong. <laughs> In my head, I keep thinking about other words to say. I'm like, oh, no, I can't say that. <laughs> I don't swear, but I'm just thinking about other words that I could use. <laughs> and I'm thinking, no, that's not, you know, it's not appropriate. Okay, moving on swiftly. Um, <laughs> so... Okay, this is what I've cut. Now, if you want the measurements and this works, then here they are. So this is using, well, it doesn't matter. I've used A4 card and I've cut it down. Now, I've no, I know I've explained it before and I'll explain it again because if you know me and watch me, you'll know that I struggle with maths and getting things right. But with this um, way of being able to work out boxes, what am I clicking on here? Uh, working out boxes, it's just, um, oh dear, what have I done? No, what am I doing? I'm trying to get my quality, quality, qu no, 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 quality up so that I can see what I'm doing in my other screen. Sorry about that, I'm faffling and fiddling around. Okay, so you measure the, the height plus the height plus the width and that gives you one measurement then you do the height plus the height plus the length and that will give you another measurement and you use those to cut out your card okay and that you work out the depth then as well of how deep you want your box and then you cut off a sliver of a matching corner off one side and then down another a sliver okay and then for the lid Oh, I've, I've showed you the wrong piece, but you know what I mean. For the lid, you you probably don't want it as deep as the box. You probably want a lip so you can easily separate the two. Okay, so the base is going to be the bigger one and the lid is going to be a bit smaller because it's not going to be as deep. Okay, let me know if you're following. 
Let me move my device so I can see comments. So I will just flash these measurements at you if you want to screenshot or take down measurements or pause the video later. In fact, if I do it side by side like this, I kind of do it the old fashioned way and write it down. I find it a bit easier. So this is the plan of what I'm going to do. OK. I'm going to take the register. I go by yes, miss, here, present, anything polite like that. <laughs> So who we got in the house? We've got Cheeky Monkey Crafts, which is Claire, Miss Glenna and Barb, Tammy and Shirley and Deborah Mitchum and Deb Smith. Oh, I've, what's going on? Is it skipped a load of names? Skipped a load. Anne and Ruth and Wendy. Skipped a load. Skipped. Joanna and Angela. Good morning, Angela. Where are you coming in from? And Jan and Deb and just put your name in again if I missed you. And Nessa. Right. So much for my short video. Okay. So I'm going to, this is the, I like to start with the base. I don't know why. It's all about the base, isn't it? I'm going to score at one and a quarter inches, which is, according to me, um, oh, I've not, <laughs> I've not written down the centimetres. I put my ruler back into my pot. Where are you? Here you are, you're in my book. How much is one and a quarter? It's about 3.2 centimetres. So make sure you've got the scoring tool. You can do this in your scoreboard if you like. Let me just talk you that way, see what I'm doing. I've reverted back to my old phone so I'm not zooming in constantly. It was really getting on my nerves, right up my nose last week doing that. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Oh, blast off. I've just gone and cut it. Not supposed to do that. I got distracted because somebody was welcoming Rachel and I went and cut it. I'm going to have to cut that again. Right, move out the way, Blade. <laughs> concentration, concentration. What's that tune? Concentration. I, did you used to do that at school? Concentration. Concentration. Are you ready? Something, something. Good morning, Mary Lou from Australia. A big oopsie, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, Shirley. Oopsie. So, sorry, who are we saying hello to, Rachel? Just do a little shout if it's your first... Shout out if it's your first time here, and I'm going to look for the pink paper that I've put down somewhere. Oh, where are you? Here you are. Now, I saw this really handy... Brian, stop laughing at me, it's not funny. Happens to the best of crafters, I'll have you know. Right, don't get me confused. This be the lid. Yeah. Right. We're going to cut ourselves another base. It's all about the base. So we're going at nine and a quarter. I don't know what I'm speaking like that for. Nine and a quarter inches. Or 22.3 centimetres by seven and a quarter. Right. Okey pokey. Hi everybody rolling in, nice to see you. Let's see if we can get ourselves up to 45. 45, any advance on 42? 45? 45 anybody? <laughs> you can share the broadcast out, that's a way of getting more people in. Right, let me concentrate. Base, one and a quarter, not a half, one and a quarter. Right, shush a minute. <laughs> Hi Nancy and Melanie. Right, where are we? One and a quarter. I mustn't fluff up now. This must work out. <laughs> uh, is it concentrate? Yeah, concentrate. Shh, concentrate. Okay. One and a quarter. It's not it doesn't take much to distract me, honestly. One and a quarter. Okie pokey, there we go. 
we have a base. So my short video is now taking forever. <laughs> okay, concentrate. All right, now we're going to cut up the score line. I'm going to go straight and then I cut a little doofer in each edge. Right, makes all the difference. Well, hello, Bobby from Alaska, Arkansas, even. So glad I'm not the only one to do that. Just happened to be looking on YouTube and you found me. How exciting. I love that. Well, big warm welcome to Bobby. Do shout out if you're new. You'll get a lovely warm welcome from our online community of crafters, watchers, followers, stalkers. <laughs> oh. Alaska is very far away. Yes, all right. I'm not very good with my geography. <laughs> I miss Reddit. I miss read as well as do typos. Is there a name for that when you miss 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 read as well as you know when you type wrong? Concentrate, Willow. Rough good. Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate, Willow. <laughs> oh, Ruth, you got me started now. Willow, rough good. Right. So um, yeah, I'm just I'm just cutting this cutting chunks out so that when it comes to I think I'm supposed to cut before I score it makes sense doesn't it you do the easy thing first oh dear I'm really got to be started now <laughs> oh dear right I'm a beautiful young <laughs> I'm a beautiful young woman if you're wondering what I'm on about I'm quoting from the film Willow. Hands up if you've seen Willow. I was going to say something very serious to you a minute ago about... If you have a question, I saw this really cool thing. I've been watching finance videos, <laughs> budgeting on YouTube. I'll tell you about that in a minute as well. But the late, this lady was doing a live, and uh, sorry, I can't remember her name. But she said, if you've got a question, put hashtag Q and then write your question. So if I miss it or like I can always come back to it at the end... Or it just kind of stands out of the crowd. If I see a hashtag Q, then I know you're asking something specific. Okay. Oh, Melanie loves that movie. I think Glenna must have seen I hope Glenna's seen it because she's laughing. Uh, Deborah says, stop it, Ruth, or I shall be off. Wendy says she loves Willow. Cindy's watched it. Joanna's watched it. And Jeannie's seen it. It was one of our childhood... Kind of, you know, before the days of Netflix, before the days of of um, Amazon Prime and Freeview and all this free telly, when you had to record on a old VHS tape, so you had to select a few videos. Um, and there is actually a new series coming out on Disney Plus, which I didn't realise. <laughs> In our little sister chat group, but that's what what the talk was about. I was just now. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit, please fit. It's looking good, folks. It's looking good. I can get it. To... Hooray! Ta da! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave the box nice and flat. Actually, let's leave them all flat till we decide what we're going to do. I wanted this to be at the front to match my card, which I'll show you in a minute. But I do love decorating the inside as well. So the idea behind this is my friend is going to turn 50. Karina, if you're watching, turn away now. So I've made her this um, birthday card here, which is quite fun and fab, I thought. Look, I even lined my own posh envelope. Look at that. And I've made that group of notelets six notelets and this is going to sit in my box but i want her to be able to use the box afterwards for her use so i don't want to kind of put a big 50 on it or you know overly decorate it to the point that it looks a bit odd i am actually trying to look for some of my paper so i, I want to decorate on the inside as well oh bobby honestly it's it is easy because I've learnt how and I'm so excited. Oh, that's nice. Excited that I know how to do it. It's made the world of difference. 
Oh, I think I'll go for the stripe. You know why? Because I don't want to use up like all of the same papers. <laughs> Does that make sense? I want to make sure I've got some left. So I'm going to use the stripe in there. And then I'm going to get the black card, which I've mislaid somewhere. Um, Choppers, I've tidied up today. Well, cleared out. Not so much of the tidying. Oh, I've got to put my black card somewhere. Look, this is all I've got. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, it's right in front of me. Right. Ow, ow, my sciatica. Ouch, ow. Ooh. Sometimes I don't know what I do and it just sets it off. Oh, great, right, yeah. So you've got loads of black here, haven't you? Never mind. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I'm just going to, what am I going to do? Get my ruler, find out how big this is at the top. Hmm, so I want maybe four and a half, maybe. Four and a half by six and a half. Let's see what that looks like. See what that looks like. Now by putting a card on the top it will reinforce everything. So normally I would cut that middle out because I don't want to waste it. But in this instance I'm going to use it to reinforce the lid and my base. So I need another four and a half by six and a half. Just have to use one out of my strap. A bit tatty, but it's going to go in the box, so hopefully it'll be right. Okay, it's very tatty. So did Tammy say she didn't have a telly? But she keeps herself busy doing lots of other things, is that right? I have a TV, but I don't know if it's smart or not. We never turn it on. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So, yes, the other thing I was going to talk about is that I've been watching these videos about envelope stuffing and uh, uh, sinking funds and all these words that I'd never knew before until I started watching YouTube. And it's got me rather excited about sort of saving and budgeting and money. And I was thinking about starting, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm choking just thinking about it. <laughs> I was thinking about doing some videos on it and I didn't know whether to do a separate channel or whether just to, I just thought I could use a hexagon to match the front. I'm looking for a circle, but I could use a hexagon. Um, <clears throat> sorry, sidetracked. Uh, whether to start a separate channel for it. And I was like, I don't really want to start a separate channel. I'd like just to have everything in one place. Easy access. Um, so, and I thought, you know what? People, crafty people don't have to watch it. <laughs> but it's something that I'd like to do. Um, and... Yeah, so I was thinking, oh, should I just do it on my own channel? Because it would be using um, Stampin' Up! products. Sorry, who's that? Who's got to go? I'm not keeping up with the comments, am I? What's the DSP called? Thank you, Vicky, for answering that question. Did somebody go? Somebody said bye and I missed it. So, because I'm running out of room on my table, I'm just going to use... Let's have a look at you scraps around here. Are you big enough? 
Oh, it's just about, just, just. Gonna risk it for a biscuit. It's gonna be tight, but we're gonna do it. Believe in me, let's do this. <laughs> so, has anyone heard about that kind of thing? About this the cash envelope stuffing? It's very exciting because I, I made like pretty envelopes and stuff. I've got some gold or something on here, which is a bit odd. Okay, that's better. That will go with my theme. Oh, watching on the big telly. Hi, Cindy's big telly. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I need you. Stay here. Right, I did think... Oh, I've got some on my desk. Where did that come from? Haha. -ha. Hmm. Do we want a nice glitzy? Yeah. Should we do a glitzy one? I wanted the letter C for my friend's name. Sorry, did I stick my head in the picture? Right, C. Who can spot C? I found it. That was fairly quick. So these large letter framelets are not available anymore. You should have got your hands on them when you saw them, because <laughs> they're a bit sought after now. But um, so I've kept hold of mine because they're still very usable. So I'm going to pop some foam tape on the back. You still got yours, Wanda? Yeah, they're just one of those things that are just so useful. Come out occasionally when you need them. Oh, am I on your TV as well, Shirley? How exciting. You can see more when you cast it on the TV. I've done that before and it's so much clearer and easier to see. So we're going to go for a sparkly C. In you go. There we are. Gentle bit of an encouragement. Oh, got to get it through the humps and the lumps and the bumps. Me three, says Tammy. Oh, a moment please. For the sparkly C. That's nice. I like that very nice. Put that somewhere safe. Wheel me back in. Okay, I feel like this block here is getting a little bit lost. So I'm getting my scrap out from this. Oh, oh my wordy. What are the chances of that fitting? Love it. That happened to Ruth earlier as well. Love it when a plan comes together, together. Oh, definitely got to have a bit of this ribbonage, which I must remember to stick on. Remind me about the ribbon. Okay. I'm crocheting a baby blanket as I watch you create something beautiful. Oh, how lovely. Oh, I've got a bit of a story about wool for you. Do you want to hear it? And you can tell us about what colour you're using to, knit, to crochet your baby blanket. Oh, my back is hurting me. Oh, Melanie's knitting a sweater, as you do. <laughs> oh, I love the thought of people crafting while I'm crafting. That's quite fun. And just pausing in between to just check in with me. Put in a little comment in the live chat. And go, yeah, I'm still here. Just, but I just happen to be crafting. Just knitting myself a sweater. <laughs> you can't find the DSP, Bobby. Oh. Where's it gone? Could somebody please look up a code for Bobby? That'd be very useful. Are you a demonstrator, Bobby? Oh, 
Claire's sewing scout badges. Everybody's sewing and knitting tonight. The colours are bright primary colours for a little boy. Oh, that's fun. I do like things like that. So, do you want to hear my story about my work the wall? Are they called? <laughs> I'm not being funny, but like sometimes, oh, I'm buffering. Just for a minute, didn't I? I had to wait for you all to come back. I was talking about skips, whether skip is something that you haven't, whether you call it a skip, do you call it something else? Um, yes, so she rescued some wool from a skip. Oh, am I going all fuzzy? It's not very helpful. Thank you. The new DSP is in the new catalogue, page 49, if you got it. So she rescued this wool from a, from a skip, and it was rather a lot. And so she said to me, can you, you know, can you make use of it? And I said, well, look, you take what you want. I'm sure I could always find somebody... To, oh, dumpster. There you go, a dumpster. You can always find somebody to um, use it. You know, there's always people that crochet or knit or, you know. So we booked a date. She came out on Monday. It was literally four bin bags full of wool. And I scattered it all over my floor to sort it all out into colour order, roughly to get an idea of what was in there. Um, right, I'm just going to seal my box. I'm just going to use Tombow because I've got it to hand. And uh, yeah, so I sorted it all out. And a few phone calls later and I've got rid of maybe half of it. <laughs> still, still a lot left. <laughs> but um, I am planning on maybe selling some there's some lovely there's half of it was literally unused untouched and still with the um the wrapper on it so um i'm just glad that it was able to get rescued and will be used rather than going into landfill unused and rotting so uh yeah it was incredible the amount that was there okay so I'm going to do that to let that dry, make sure these actually fit in here, lovely jubbly. And I thought what I could do is um, get a bit of tissue that helps to bulk it up. Is that the, that is the base, isn't it? Got me worried then. I know, it was unbelievable. It was incredible, the amount that was there. But I think, to be honest, I think the... The lady's lifestyle, who threw it away and what she'd been through, I think sometimes just gets a bit overwhelming for people to start trying to sort things out and know what to do with it all. And actually, it's just so much easier just to get rid of it in one first week. Now, it's amazing because my friend's daughter just sort of happened to come across it and see it. And they were good enough to <laughs> to take it out again. But uh, yeah, it's quite sad. I'm just seeing what I'm doing here. I think maybe that's a bit too much. Let's go for this sort of, that's better. Look, there we go. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, this I will try and sell some, but there's you know, it is incredible what um there was there really. All very exciting. So I've got to get myself busy doing some more blankets again. Oh, Bobby said now I'll have to have the entire set. I've been through the catalogue many times, I missed the entire set. Thank you, Vicky. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here to enjoy it with us, Bobby. Thank you for sticking around with us. Now, I, the plan was to maybe make another box that I hadn't 
sorted through yet, but um, it might have to come back another week to do that. Uh, um, excuse me, who's quietly slinking in the back door? Right, I've got a fun idea. Will this work, won't it? Um, I wonder if, instead of having circles for holes... It was Janice, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> to do, like, little hexagon cutouts. Let's do that. That might just help to complete the look. How come I miss this paper? It's What's lovely is it's six... I'm bringing in the beast, the big mama. Now, is this going to work? It will work. We'll make it work. <laughs> um... Right, concentrate, has to concentrate. Um, yeah, the paper is unusually six by four, whereas normally it'd be six by six or um, 12 by 12. Right, concentrate, concentrate. I hope this is going to work because, aha, it worked. So the idea of this is just that I had to lift the um the box up like thumb holes no you weren't very quiet janice you were rattling around stumbling over things as you came in we heard you nothing quiet about that <laughs> oh funny it's a good job we know janice isn't it all right let's try that again just a bit of partial Die cutting and everything moves. <laughs> go, go, go. Just seen that nasty bruise on my arm. Right. Okay, that's gone over a little bit more. But oh well. It's handmade. Ah, oh, Darlene's been watching while she's been eating. You wonder why they didn't do 6x6. Do you know what? I find the 4x6 is very usable. I find it a nice size, actually, and you get a lot in the back. Do you get 48 sheets? And they're double-sided. Oh, oh, I've got one somewhere. I've got the tea order. <laughs> I'll just drink that. No, it's fine. I'll drink it. Thanks. I've got cold tea on the go. Look at that. Don't look at it, actually. It's a bit cold looking. Um, yeah, really pretty. And they've got, have they all got foil? Yes, I think they've all got foil on them. So um, I think I showed them in my unboxing, so you can go and check that out if you want. Okay, back to the job at hand. So I've got a little bit of a lip happening here, but do you know what? That's okay. And I was worried that I'd get the... My mother's trying to call me. <laughs> I was saying I was worried that I was going to get those. But it's actually worked out all right. Just quickly glue these in and then I'm going to hover it over the box. Because the thing about this glue, you've got about 10 seconds to move it. Oh, I've not cut that. She's trying to call me again. Can somebody tell her that I'm trying to do my live? <laughs> Tuesday o'clock, mum. I should know this. <laughs> Right, I was going to put some glue and then get my box and make sure it fits over nicely. That's what the plan was. So I've glued one end and I'm just going to tuck these ends in. Why does that not fit? What's going on there? Oh, jolly Henry. Why does that not? Look, look how much short I am. That's weird. What's going on? Have I measured it wrong? No. No, 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 no. That definitely does not fit. And bottom backwards. No, this is definitely the top because it's sh shorter. Uh, 
I'm going to have to go back to the measuring board, find out where I've gone wrong. That will not do, folks. That will not do. Tuck it inside. Oh, I see, like, tuck it down in there. That's not a bad idea. Thank you. Let's try that. No, I didn't switch the base on the top to my knowledge, unless I... See, that's why I should never make boxes when I'm... <laughs> Maybe I did switch the sizes up. No. Have I done... Did, do you think that's what I've done? That's going to annoy me. Actually, yes, that's a good idea, Bobby. Thank you. If I make... Uh, you're right, I could make another base. Because there's room there. Yes, I'll do that. I think the problem was the base. And then I can make another top for that. Sorry, folks, but if you took down those measurements, something's not quite right there. So I will go back to my measuring board and sort that out again. Oh, it's going so well. <laughs> Thank you for your suggestion. It's so nice to have somebody sort it out, sort out your problem for you because sometimes you sort of go, oh, it doesn't fit. But yes, that makes sense. Thank you, Wanda, for your suggestion as well. Thank you, Bobby. Still beautiful. Thank you, guys. So I so see, I always make the top a sliver bigger than the bottom. Yeah, well, the bottom I've made smaller, technically. But I don't know if that's because I had a little hitch at the beginning and had to cut out another one. But I think the solution would be I can easily cut out another base and make it fit. <laughs> there's Where there's a will, there's a way, isn't there? So just, you know, get the idea. So the other thing that I wanted to do, which I, I won't do tonight, my brain is a little bit frazzled. I've done a bit of sorting and just had a busy day. Um, so, yes, the other thing I wanted to do, oh, come here, is, I hope, I hope my friend's not watching, I'm going to show you the other part of her gift, which is this. Isn't this pretty? Does it remind you of anything? Oh, thank you. You said, yes, you can do this. You always tell us not to panic. I should listen to, I think when you're live, you're under that pressure that it should be should be perfect <laughs> not perfect but right and um you know if, if people are watching this for reference i'm just mindful that you know especially if i'm giving out measurements i don't want them to be wrong but thank you yes it does look like a one sheet wonder if you're familiar with that so um i wanted to make like i thought it'd be rather than this silly cardboard box to make a box for it but it's an awkward size so i got out um a scrap of dsp and i've been been kind of cutting it down and i figured if i kind of make this sort of shape i scored it every two inches this is a 12 inch sheet and then i cut a slither off the top so it kind of needs an extra slither in there to attach the two um but that's what i wanted to maybe work out and then it will have like a bit of this sort of closure like where you kind of fold it around like that. You get the idea. But I need to go off and work that out so that I can sort it out so that, you know, you can't see the handle. So that was the plan for that if I had time tonight. There you go. I'm going to go go and sort my box out <laughs> and just, you know, in a quiet space, just try and sort out the measurement because... Um, yeah, this ideally will fit on top. Can you make a milk style box big enough for the mug? Um, maybe. Now, when I, yeah, let's have a, that's a good idea. Thank you. So, a um, uh, milk style box. I think whatever happens, I still need to have two sheets. And I think that's where the issue is. 
Leave the handle out but put a ribbon on it so it's easy to carry. Wouldn't it be easier to make a box with steady base for the mug? I don't think um it's not it's it's too wide, so when I did my measurements to make a box, it won't go all the way around because there's not enough card. So I did try a box. Hi Francois, nice to see you. It might be more sturdy with two, but yeah, it won't be paper. This is just me testing out the theory card. So um, yeah, I like the idea of a milk style carton, that could work. But I need to just go and have a little play and then I'll load a box about mug holders. How about that? <laughs> With cardstock or base. Cover the delivery box with paper. I thought that, but it is rather scrappy. And I tried to pull off the label off the front and it's I've kind of left it a little bit, you know, damaged, as they say. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I'm sorry it didn't work quite as intended, but it just goes to show, you know, these things happen. And you might see me uh, on a video near you doing my envelope stuffing of cash and explaining well I'll try my best to explain the whole idea of it um I just find it fascinating it's really interesting um so yeah rather than having a separate channel if, if it's not if you're not interested please don't watch it's fine um it's not going to be for everybody but um it's just to share what I've done so far the theory behind it and stuff like that I feel like I've got an eyelash in my eye do you have an ink pad? No, I got rid of those. I might have another mug box somewhere, but I kind of wanted to create my own box. So, um, oh, excuse me. I will try and think about what I can do. Oh, press the button. <laughs> what I can do and what I can design to sort that one out. So, things to do. Sort out my note card box which should be, in theory, for, I'll just, you know, use this to help me measure. And sort out my mug box, hopefully, as well. Undo the delivery box and use as a template, says Nessa. Now, the trouble is, I do think it might be a bit... Yes, I could do that. I just wondered if it would be quite huge. Quite huge. Um, that's the thing, isn't it? The size. But yes, I did. I did think about that idea. Thank you. Oh, it's right now. I can't get it back together. Right. <laughs> Thank you for sticking out with me. <clears throat> I'll let you know what happens if I come back with a. A mug box, a great brainwave. If you've got any great ideas, and let me know. And um, if you'd like to purchase any of this lovely paper and this lovely set, it comes with stamps and dies. Um, then you can at my online shop. <coughs> Excuse me, stampinstarcreations.co.uk. Bye, Heidi. Nice to see you. Have a good night, everybody. Claire says she loves the colours together, and it's fun, isn't it? Black, gold, and a pop of pink. It's good fun. Oh, I just thought I didn't put any little embellishments on, but I'll do that now. All right, guys. Mwah. Lots of love. Take care and God bless. Bobby, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and um, press the bell so you get notifications of when we're on live again. You can come and hang out with us some more. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Alright, just got to sort out the pot before I go. <laughs> Bye.